Hello, good day viewers. Welcome back once again. Let's find a solution to this problem given here. We have x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 1. This is equal to 0. And right over here, we're going to evaluate this expression here. x to the power of 216. Now let's get started. Before we proceed, let us recall the following sum of two cubes formula. We have that a cubed plus b cubed. This is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with this identity here? There's something really cool we're going to do with this identity. This identity will help us to solve this problem very quickly. Now, let's see how to do that. Now, in the following identity here, if we let a, a equals x squared, if we let a equals x squared and b equals 1, then we get the following identity in terms of x. That is, a cubed will be x squared cube, right? A cubed will be x squared cubed. You know, these two powers will multiply together. That is actually x to the power of 6. Now, what of a squared here? Then, a squared will be x squared squared, and that will be x to the power of 4. Now, with this, we derive the following identity. a cubed, which is x to the power of 6, plus b cubed will be 1 cubed, which is 1. Then this is equal to a plus b will be x squared plus 1, multiplied by a squared is x to the power of 4, right? Minus a times b will be x squared times 1, which is x squared then plus b squared will be 1 squared, and that is 1. Okay, now let us look at the given equation. We can see that this equation right over here, when we multiply both sides by x squared plus 1, the left-hand side will automatically turn to this x to the power of 6 plus 1, right? Now let's go ahead and do that. We are giving that x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 1, that this is equal to 0. Now, let's multiply both sides by x squared plus 1. From here, we get x squared plus 1 multiplied by x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 1. This is equal to 0 multiplied by x squared plus 1, right? Now, from the left right over here, we can use this identity we derive here. So, the left-hand side will become x to the power of 6 plus 1. Then, this is equal to 0 times x squared plus 1. That is 0. Now, when we move 1 to the other side, we get x to the power of 6. This is equal to negative 1. Amazing. Now, the expression we are asked to evaluate is x to the power of 216, right? And luckily, 216 is a multiple of 6, right? That is 6 times 36, right? So actually from here, we can raise both sides to the power of 36, right? So from here, x to the power of 6 raised to the power of 36, this is correspondingly equal to negative 1, to the power of 36. Now, you know what will happen here if we make use of this property a to the power of b to the power of c. This is equal to a raised to the power of b times c. So here we get x to the power of 6 times 36. This is equal to, you know, the power here is even. So negative 1 to the power of an even number is 1. So from here, 6 times 36 is 216. And from here, we arrive at the solution x to the power of 216 is equal to 1, and this is the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please, if you find this video interesting, kindly subscribe to my channel. Also, like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.